Hi guys, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can create football multiplayer game using MIT Apple Inventive. So, uh, till now we have done all design. That's the second part of this game. So, make sure to please watch first part of this game. I will give you the link in the description. So, here we go. So, that's the design. Okay. And let me just hide this vertical arrangement 3. And that one is for main. And that one is for vertical arrangement 1. Now, whenever someone click on start game button, so we have to start our game and we have to hide this vertical arrangement. Okay, so now go to the block section. Whenever someone click on this button one, no, not this. This should be from vertical arrangement one, this one. So whenever someone click on this button one, so we have to hide this vertical arrangement. Make sure this should be set visible, should be false. And then we have to enable another vertical arrangement. It means man, this one, vertical arrangement 2 should be true. Okay. Now that's the whenever we start a game. So whenever we click on this button 1 and now that one is height like this and this one is visible now. So you can see that's the main screen. Okay. So whenever someone dragged this ball, okay, and start kicking this ball, so we have to start timer. So we need here two things more that first one is timer and second one is for a score and the uh, like a score and timing. So for that, let me just put one more layout, click on layout and you can see horizontal arrangement. This one, put this one here. Okay. Here, fine. And make it with this fill parent and make this height is around 10% to display the uh, display the time. So, and drag and drop your label like this. Click on horizontal arrangement. Make sure this background color black. Label should be white or something like this. Change this font size to around 20. And click on horizontal arrangement and make it in a center. And make it, this should be center. And change this label to value to something. I'm going to make it 60. You can make it 10, 20, 120, whatever. Now, we have to just drag and drop one more layout horizontal arrangement here fine and make it also with this fill parent and then we need here four labels okay four labels one two three and that one is four okay now click on label three fine and change this to something team one is score like this okay and change this text color to white and change this horizontal background color to black like this and make it like you can make it 3 and make it 20 or 18 at least okay and then click on level 4 make it 18 make it text size white make it score 0 like this and you have to do it for level 5 also font size 18 make it text white and make this text to something team to score like this it's fine click on level six and make it white and then make it text zero and make it 18 and make this one is fine nothing great now click on this horizontal arrangement and make this one in a center and make this this should be a center it's fine perfect now that one is designed now go to the block section whenever someone dragged this ball first time then we have to start this timer so for that we need a timer also in the left side you will find sensor option and you can see clock so just drag and drop this and make sure this should be disabled okay unchecked now go to the block and whenever someone dragged the ball and wall is it means click on this ball you can see image split 3 okay so click on this image split 3 and here you will find dragged when image 3 dot dragged then we can start the timer okay so for that we have to check first condition timer is start or not so for that we will use your control and if here like this and then logic Let's click on logic make it here and then check the timer is enabled or not 
click on clock and you can see the clock dot time enabled this one is equal to true so just type here true okay and if this one is equal to true it means timer is true then we have to set then we will set image split 4 dot speed we have to set the speed for image split 3 so you will find this one here this image split 3 and you can see the set set image split 3, 2 uh, 20 30 whatever you want that really doesn't matter but make sure there should not be a uh, two uh, like uh, make sure there should be around 20 it's fine okay now that one is the condition and we have to use here one more thing that uh, let's use your else block also okay then if timer is not enabled then what we will do in the else part we will make it enable okay so for that you just need to click on clock and here you can see the timer enable set clock one dot timer enable should be true fine that's great now now we need to drag the ball okay so for that we will call here simply image split 3 click on it and you can see point in direction point in direction here and drag and drop this here and we need to set x it means current x value this one current x and then that one is current y value simply and make sure this should be copy and paste here also like this simply okay now this is fine now we need to add here whenever someone some this ball is reach the age okay so for that click on this image split 3 and you can see the age reached this one block and i'm to make it here like this and whenever this reach the ball then we have to make our speed here you can see the sp have set the image split speed 20 so we have to make this speed to 0 and this should be ball should be moved to the uh, in a center so for center we need to find the uh, you know value so you, you will find the default value like here you can see this value is 130 and 160 so x is 130 you can copy this here from you just x and this y value and the x is 130 and the y you can make it where is this y value y value is 160 okay so y value is 160 like this okay now now we have to code for a score okay how we can increase the score so for that whenever click on this image split and you can see whenever image split 3 collide with okay so we have to check click on this control and you can see if condition make this logic here and if this image split collide with this one it means this one is image split one then we have to score team one okay so go to the block if the collision collide with this image split one this one and equal if true okay or sorry this is not other you can make it other here and make it here if the other image split collide with image split 1 then we have to increase the score so how we can increase the score and you can see the score is 0 right now it means level 4 so we have to simply increase the level 4 value so for that click on level 1 and you can see set level 1 dot text here and then we have to increase the value click on max and you will find the plus icon like this one here and we have to get the current value of our label so click on level 4 and you can see the level 4 one dot text this one get here and we have to increase the one value one by one so just drag and drop it here and make it one so to do one okay now if this one is not an image split 2 then else if just copy paste this one code here like this and the get is image split 3 okay so image split 2 then we have to set value change so let me just check everything's fine now the need this one is image split 2 and this score level is level 6 so we have to change level 6 value and increase this value in level 6 simple okay so that's the code for increasing the score 
okay now we have to done code for how we can make it game over okay so for that we will check the uh, counter and we have to decrease this one counter also so how we can do this go to the block and you can see the timer and whenever this when clock one dot timer okay then we have to check condition here first if click on this control option and drag and drop this FAO if the level value is equal to zero so which level value is zero it means this one level level two value is zero so let's check i mean to make it copy paste if one thing that let me just copy paste this one here and remove this label for this one copy paste this one and drag and drop it here label this should be level 2 level 2 value is 0 okay if the level 2 value is 0 like this make it it then we will use here one more condition one more else click on control and you can see if on this van uh, on this uh, clock timer we have to check who is winner okay but on this timer we have to decrease this level value also so out of all these condition we will do one thing just copy paste this value here like this and our level value should be 2 and we have to decrease the value here click on math and it gets the minor drag and drop this here level 2 should be decreased by 1 and this will decrease by 1 by 1 uh, up to 0 okay now whenever this one take call one timer call in every second so this level will will check level 2 dot tax is 0 then we have to check it means game over it means we have to check who is winner now okay so for that we will check here simply if the we have to check logic here click on logic sorry in a maths and you can see this one if the level value is greater than or less than so go to the design you can see this one is level 4 and this one is level 6 okay if the level 4 is greater than level 6 if level 4 it means just copy paste this one and this one if level 4 it means this one level 4 is this one is less than this one is greater if level 4 is greater than level 6 fine level 4 is greater than level 6 then the team 1 is winner okay so now the team is one is winner then for that you can see this one word arrangement third level one so level one text level one text should be who is winner the level team one is winner okay so team one is winner simply okay else if we have to use the else if else if the level 4 is less than level 6 so for that we have to set this level 1 value is team 2 is winner okay if the value is equal or if nothing then else we will set the simply level the game is style okay the game is time okay simply now that's the code now now we have to code for restart button okay so whenever someone click on this button two it means restart button so we have to set this level two value okay so level two value should be 60 again okay so set this value set level value should be 60 okay and the uh, speed of uh, our image spread this one where is image spread 3 this one image spread 3 value set speed this should be set speed should be 0 okay this one simply and we have to set all these uh, level value also so for that just check it out first again like this one is level 4 and this one is level 6 it means we have to set all these level 
4 and 6 value should be 0 also. Right? It means level 4 value is 0, level 6 value is 0. Fine. Whenever we click on this restart button, so make sure we have to hide first this one uh, vertical arrangement, which one? Third one vertical arrangement, it means vertical arrangement 3 should be uh, visible here. 3 should be visible false and okay and we have to done more one more thing make it this one true which one vertical arrangement 2 if the game is over then we have to hide this vertical arrangement 2 also so how we can check okay so if the level 2 is 0 a level 2 value is 0 it means game over okay so we have to call here one procedure and we have defined one procedure now so click on this procedure this one here and we have to call one procedure here and you can do without procedure but uh, we have to repeat code so you can create procedure so let me just do it simply okay here so <clears throat> if the team is win okay if everything is whatever happened it if the level 2 is 0 then we have to display make it true and we have to make this one world arrangement 2 should be false Okay, if level 2 dot text equals 0 then. Okay, so that's the overall game we have created. If you have some doubt, you can ask me on command. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Please like this video also, please. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.